Hey everyone, this is Rachel and welcome to another scrapbooking process video. If you hang out until after the video is through, there are always detailed shots of my current layout. Let's get going! Hey everyone, I am once again at the crop I went to back in October 2018. I had actually sort of started this layout and then remembered to turn on the camera. So these are things from my mix of Felicity Jane. So these are several different lines from Felicity Jane. I don't subscribe to them. I, when she has a sale, I purchase older paper packs and stuff like that. So these are a mix of, oh sugar, I don't even know what they're a mix of, but just things I thought worked well together. Now this cardstock that is also from Felicity Jane, it's not quite cardstock, it's more the weight of pattern paper, but just uh, in a uh, single color, this yellow color. Now I had gessoed this actually for a previous layout I had planned and then realized it wasn't going to work out. So I had this gessoed piece of paper and I thought, well, I'm not going to put the gesso to waste. So I thought before I actually make the layout, I would do some mixed media on it. Now I am building the lower third, two thirds of the layout simply because I, you know, need to know where I can keep my mixed media and not have it be hidden by my paper. So basically what I'm doing is I'm stacking this paper. I've got this striped paper and that's going to be the majority of what you see. And then, oh, now I've decided I'm going to uh, ink up everything. And I had matted the photo before I started the cam before I started the camera up. Um, so I'm going to ink everything. I'm assuming it's either in hickory smoke or pumice stone. Those are my two favorite ones for inking edges of things. So I'm not quite sure. I don't remember at this point. We're, we're talking like six months ago because I, uh, I kind of let the video making go by the wayside in December. So I'm about a month behind of where I should be. Oh, well, <laughs> what are you going to do? So I'm just kind of lining it back and forth, uh, lining it up back and forth, and then obviously I will trim off the parts that are hanging off the edges of my layout. So I have, as often, as I often do when I am mixing patterns and mixing colors, you'll see I'm going from a multicolor to a single color, this one being black and white, and then going back to a multicolor and then going to the single color. And I find if you want to have a lot of patterns in your layout, this is a good rule of thumb to go by is to um, do tone on tone or a one colored pattern paper in between multicolor pattern papers just to kind of give your eye a place to rest. I realize this is a little bit higher than I wanted it to be so I just trimmed off the bottom of that striped paper and as you can see I also added a half of a doily underneath the bottom of my photo and I'm going to use that for my title placement and I do something a little bit different for me but I think it's super cute. Now I'm going to do some stenciling along with some uh, texture paste and ink. And so what I'm doing now is I'm just marking where my paper is beginning so I know how far down to go. And I'm using this star stencil and that's from Echo Park. I want to say Once Upon a Time, which is I think I released last year. And now I'm going to be borrowing some Distress Oxide inks. When I went to this crop, I really didn't have any Distress Oxides, so I did borrow these from some other guests. I now have many, many, many Distress Oxides, so I don't have to borrow them anymore. And so first I had Tumbled Glass. I'm going for a really pale uh, look with these. I'm not looking for a lot of... Um, Oh, sugar, I can't think of the word. I'm looking for it to blend in. I'm not looking for it to stand out. There's a word for that, and I cannot remember what it is. So I believe I'm using tumbled glass and then sponge sugar. So it really is just going to be a little bit of extra in the background. It's not going to be super stand out in your face. And I am mixing them up, so that's why you'll see uh, I'm not going for it to be neat and clean. I'm going for a super messy look. I'm just using a cut up Air Amazon gift card. Um, I find those are really great to use, especially with texture paste, because you don't have to worry about cleaning it off. You can just chuck it. 
<laughs> so I went back and forth between the pink and the blue. And now while I am going to wait for this to dry, I'm going to, I'm just making sure it looks good. And I do like the way it looks while I'm waiting for that to dry. You get to see my head a couple times in this video. I'm going to work on a bit of an embellishment cluster at the top half. So Felicity Jane, when she first started, she used to have cut aparts that she would print on sticker paper and then you would have to fussy cut it out. So I would, when I get them, I would just go ahead and fussy cut the majority of it out. You'll see those small flowers there. I just kept those as whole, basically so I wouldn't lose them, but everything else has been fussy cut out. Um, she now has die cuts. I will say I actually kind of miss the, the fussy cutting out of the stickers. Um, I find her die cuts to be very, very thick, and um, I prefer the thinness of the stickers. Personally, I know a lot of people are happy they no longer have to fussy cut. So I am just mixing a couple of those um, washi uh, faux washi strips from the fussy cutting. And then I'm also adding some actual washi stickers from, I want to say it's from the Henley collection. I'm not 100% on that, but I'm, I'm pretty, pretty close on that. All right, so it is time to do my title. And I am using these Paige Evans... Uh, mini thickers in navy and I'm writing out my words because I'm trying to find where the center is because what I'm going to do is I'm going to have my title follow the curve of that doily and my title is going to be Sadie Burrito which I know does not make a lot of sense <laughs> it uh it's one of those things where it, it's a story uh, the name itself is a story, and obviously I'm going to tell that story in journaling, but I did want to explain it, which is why I left this part in. I don't normally leave me putting alphabets down because it's super repetitive and long. Um, so does everyone or anyone remember Raffi? <laughs> If you had a small child uh, who's now a teenager or grown up, you probably do. I do not know if current children still listen to Raffi. Uh, so Raffi had a song called Baby Beluga. Um, and my nephew adored that song. And so what we would do is when he got out of the bath, we would wrap him up in a towel and we would sing Baby Burrito. <laughs> rather than baby beluga and then we got you know so we he would hear this constantly every time he'd have a bath we would wrap him up he'd say sing sing burrito sing burrito and um so we'd sing baby burrito and I don't even remember the rest of the words so when we got Sadie he was about five-ish and so he would wrap Sadie up like you'll see in the, in the photo she is actually like cir encircled inside of a fleece blanket and so he would wrap her up and he would sing to her Sadie burrito and um <laughs> so uh, that's how he would sing it like 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 a little kid and um so he would sing that over and over again and it, you know just it kind of stuck so anytime and she loves this she adores being wrapped up in a blanket like this so we will wrap her up in a blanket and then we will sing Sadie Burrito and so it's one of those family stories that you know stick around and it's just uh, one I wanted to definitely uh, tell on a scrapbooking page because you know one day you know Sadie is almost 16 she actually turned 16 this month and um you know, one day she isn't going to be with us. Although right now, if you can hear, I don't know if you can hear them, they're playing, Xanthi and Sadie are playing as I'm doing this because they love to do that, make a lot of noise. Ah, see, there we go. While I'm doing a voiceover. All right, I have been adding things from the die cut pack, uh, the floral pieces up at the top, and then that wreath inside where my title is. And then I had trimmed part of that off and added it to my little top embellishment cluster. The papers are running a little bit over, like obviously there were things that were running over on purpose. Um, but there are a couple things running over just because they were slightly longer than the actual page because I, I think, and, and I don't know, I'm not a paper expert, I think maybe the gesso had tightened up the cardstocky, um, the, the solid paper color 
so um, I just had to trim everything up a little bit. I have this one. It actually used to be a tag, only I had used the tag portion on another layout. So all I did was fussy cut around it to make it less of a square and just make it more natural looking. So I'm going to tuck that above my photo. And now I am looking at the puffy stickers and um, the puffy words. So I use the word sunshine. So when we got Sadie, her name was not Sadie. It was Shadow, which we didn't think made sense for a miniature schnauzer. That's more like a lab name. <laughs> So uh, we asked my nephew, what did he want to name her? And he said, I want to name her Sadie Sunshine. So we just dropped the sunshine like after about two minutes. And so she just became Sadie. But I thought that we had that word sunshine in there would be perfect because originally her full name is Sadie Sunshine housemate's last name uh, at the vet. <laughs> I'm finishing off with some puffy round stickers instead of using enamel dots and now I'm cleaning up because I'm not sure if I'm done yet or not. I, I did figure out I did want to add a couple more of those dots or maybe I hadn't added them, maybe I just looked at them and tried to decide if I wanted them to be added or not, who knows. And now I'm trying to figure out if there's anything else I should be adding to this. I'm oftentimes what I'll do is I'll, I'll either move on to something else or here as you can see I'm cleaning up my desk and as I'm doing that, I'm looking at all the things I'm picking up, seeing if, do I want to add this? Do I want to add that? Blah, blah, blah. And as I get there, I'm like, you know what? I think I'm good with the way it is. So all I'm going to do is finish off with my journaling. And as I was saying before, you know, I told you the story. And uh, it's just one of my little favorite stories about our dog. All right, folks, this is going to complete my layout for me. Thank you so, so much for hanging in there, for getting through all these crop videos, for watching my videos every week, for liking, for commenting, for sticking with it. If you want to subscribe, that would be super duper awesome. I would really appreciate that. It's just, you know, it's a fun little boost to the ego. I will not lie. <laughs> I am almost complete here. I think I might add some mist. Do I add mist? I do, in fact, add navy Heidi Swap Color Shine Mist to this layout. It adds a nice contrast, which, by the way, was the word I was looking for far earlier. I did not want a contrast with my uh, texture paste. I just wanted it very neutral. All right, folks, once again, thanks so much. Leave me a thumbs up if you can. Have a great day and goodbye.